guys. I hope you are doing well today. I am just checking these lovely little Opuntia paddles that uh, one of the viewers here sent me about, I think it's been about a month now, um, probably longer than that, but I know they've been just setting in this soil for about a month and these were just little cuttings. So I'm just gonna check their roots um, see if we have any developing yet. Sometimes they root pretty quickly. Sometimes they root quite slowly. It just um, Depends so I don't know what we'll find here, but I wanted to check these guys and see if um, If they're ready to be Planted a little bit more upright. They would just wouldn't quite stay standing up and See what we got going on here. Well, as we can see, we have lovely little roots. You can see. Sorry, I'm looking around the camera and then I realized I wasn't in the camera lens. Okay, so you can see there's nice, lovely roots just growing out of the side of the paddle here. And then there's a nice, good, healthy stalk, which is kind of covered with the dirt here. <laughs> but um, you can see from this side, that's a nice big root coming out of the end there. So that's exciting. Um, this one is starting to shrivel just, just a bit here, you can see. So it might be about ready for a drink now that I know it has roots. I gave it just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of moisture earlier, but just did not want to risk rotting these little guys and this one's got great a great little root system going on here too and I'm not gonna knock all of that off I'm just going to settle these guys down in here just a little bit better now right here I just want to point this out I'm just now seeing this I thought it was just um, dirt and and spots of um, pumice but now that I just actually stared at it this is eggs see all those little there we go see all these little white um, things right here those are all eggs of some variety I'm guessing honestly actually I'm not sure what kind of eggs those are because I don't have any um, bugs they may be a, just a spider that was crawling by or something I'm not sure because I don't seem to have any mealies around here, but um, at least around these guys, no, no one else in the vicinity seems to be um, looking peaked or having any bugs, but I am actually going to grab a little bit of alcohol and wash this off and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I got my handy dandy little bottle of isopropyl alcohol. Um, I use 70%, people ask sometimes. I use the 70% strength. Um, you can use the 90 on some some plants just fine. It won't bother them at all, but sometimes it burns more sensitive plants and you um, diluting it is a little bit safer. But with the 70%, I don't generally have to dilute it. The alcohol itself without actually wiping it all off would be enough to kill the eggs as long as you spray it really really well and let it sit on there until it evaporates off um, so if you have a cactus or something that's really really spiny and it's just almost impossible to get in and remove all of the eggs like I'm doing with the q-tip here then um, don't worry too much or the other thing you can do is just hold it upside down just to keep um, the roots, you don't want to be spraying the roots with alcohol and just spray enough to kind of rinse it and wash the eggs off. Um, just let it kind of roll down and rinse all that stuff off. That's another option. Just seems to be one little, one little spot of eggs right there of whatever they were. There's been quite a few spiders um, in this window recently so perhaps that's what they are but usually they don't spider eggs usually are a bit more protected and covered than that so I don't know but either way we're gonna remove it and this I'm just gonna see if this will focus here I'm just now seeing this also 
and this looks like scale. Now I'm gonna try and pop it off and see if it actually is, but it looks like it might be a little, a little bit of scale there hiding. So these tweezers, as you can see, have a really little sharp point on them. So I'm just gonna see if I can kind of pop this off. Yep. All right. I actually don't know if I have ever had scale other than on a plant that I bought, you know, that came with a little bit. I have never actually had an epidemic or outbreak of scale, but this is um, very much what they look like when you can peel them off. If, if the little um, discoloration spot doesn't peel off and it's like a scab and when you go to kind of scrape it with a straight pin or really sharp tweezers and it just kind of scrapes the plant and you get down to live tissue, then you know that um, that is something else going on that's not scale. But these little lovely insects build this little kind of protective um, scab that goes over them and this is the underside and under here is where the little bugger is. Just in case this falls off my finger and I lose it, I'm just gonna... No, I just sprayed it off of my finger. I was just gonna douse it with alcohol so that I make sure it's dead. Um, and I lost it. Well, anyways, that's okay. I, I wanted to make sure that was doused really good. I really did lose it. Anyways, um, I'm gonna give this guy a little spritz from the little spot that's left here and just wipe that off. Doesn't look like too much damage was done. And just gonna go ahead and give this guy a little closer inspection since I found, yep, here's another one. All right, see right here? That little, this little white spot right there by the root, that's another little little piece of scale all right this time the little the little scab here came off but the bug is still remaining so I'm gonna dab that off you can see the little the little yellow thing right here that's the little bug the little scale insect that's under the scab I'm gonna give him a little spray and um, I don't it's worth it to me to that a tiny little bit of this got on the upper part of the root right here I'm going to go rinse this off actually really, really well. Um, and I'm gonna rinse all of the dirt off of these roots, which I wasn't gonna do before, but since I found the eggs and then the scale, um, I'm just gonna wash them off really well so that I make sure um, there's nothing that I'm missing here. And let's look at this one now. I hope I'm not yelling. I'm so close to my microphone. I keep adjusting my volume and then getting excited and talking loud. And um, I've been so tired lately with my health stuff going on that um, I've been talking quieter. So I thought, well, maybe I'd put the mic closer to my mouth. So hopefully it's not... Um, too loud. I think this is just a scab here, but I'm just going to do a tiny bit more work on this one little spot here just to double and triple check that it's not a little bit of scale. I'm pretty sure it's just a wound. Yep, yeah, that's just a little, if you can see the little white spot that I was scraping on here, that's just a little um, scab of some sort. All right, I'm gonna go rinse these guys off really well and do another inspection and then we'll get them potted up. All righty, so got these guys all washed off and I'm gonna pot them back up and then I'm gonna give them a little bit of a drink since they have a root system developed now. And what I'm gonna give them a drink with is a little bit of Azamax, which is a pesticide that is effective on scale. I don't use pesticides very often at all. Um, but since scale isn't something that I battle ever um, in my collection in general, I'm pretty, pretty um, not concerned. That's not the right word. I'm a little bit of a stickler about preemptive measures and just double checking when it's anything new. If it's mealy bugs or something like that that I um, battle on and off, then I'll just, you know, kind of um, do the alcohol and 
and uh, let them grow and double check and triple check and just keep an eye on it. But with scale, I do not want any of these buggers to get going and spread to anything else. If I, you know, there's always a chance that you leave one somewhere that you just missed or an egg, et cetera, et cetera. So just to double check and make sure, I guess, not really double check, just to, for um, extra good measure, I am going to go ahead and give these guys a water with an insecticide there. That one root is a little bit high, <laughs> so just trying to get it going in the right direction and get these guys stood up a little bit better. Alrighty, and there we go. So these guys are doing great. Just a couple little scale um, buggies, no problem there. Well, it's a problem, but um, nothing, you know, it's not taking over the plant or it hasn't done a bunch of harm yet. There was only the two. Um, so, I will give them a little water uh, with the insecticide and um, put them in the, back in a nice um, bright, I think actually now that these have um, roots, they're going to go under the grow lights for a little while. I didn't want to put them under grow lights while they were rooting because it's just too intense and they need to save their energy. But now that they have fairly nice little root systems, I think um, they would appreciate a bit more light. So they're going to go up um, under... some grow lights. Alrighty, um, I think that's it for today. If you'd like to join the Facebook group, there will be a link in the description box below. There is also um, information about my Instagram and garden tags, um, etc. Um, I'm on all of those. If anyone would like to follow me, if you'd like to share a photo or something, feel free to tag me um, on Instagram or Facebook, either one. I'm not on Instagram every day, but usually I check it at least once or twice a week. So um, if I don't respond right away, that would be why. But um, usually I at least try, even if I can't respond, I at least try and, and, and give a look. So um, you can find me there. And until next time, I will talk to you later and happy growing.